Hello everyone, this is Mad Cat Sphere, also known as uh, Ricky Cespedes, is my real name. And I want to upload uh, a video to talk about um, astral projection. I think that um, astral projection, I have never tried to practice it, but I have uh, come to um, come to come to my own conclusions on how exactly it could be done. I've theorized about it, I've thought about it. And I've uh, come up with certain um, <clears throat> things about it that um, is very simplistic and very easy to understand. That I think that astral projection is something that is um, very similar to uh, passing away. You know, it's very similar to to a person dying, um, but that it is in a controlled manner where you're able to. Uh, to uh, project your consciousness out into the fabric of space and time, which basically space and time is like everything that's around us, and it, it, it basically intersects us. And um, I, 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 I plan to do, I plan to do some, some practicing of after projection, do some med more meditation because when I do uh, psychokinesis, they say meditate, but the reason why you meditate is to just quiet the mind and to be more neutralized and be more in a peaceful state of uh, in a peaceful state, a peaceful manner. But um, I think that the astral projection should be should be something that we should practice. Um, it should be something that uh, that um, a lot of people on YouTube say that astral projection can be very dangerous. That it can be a very dangerous thing for us to to do because um, our minds are not ready for what we see. Our minds are not ready for what we're about to witness. And uh, when they say that, it kind of reminds me of uh, taking DMT. It, it kind of reminds me of, it's kind of like that. DMT is like uh, forced astral projection. It's forcing your mind to astral project. While you're in a uh, state of uh, awakened, you know, consciousness, which is like you know, in this reality, you know, you're looking and you're, you know, and you're awake. You're not laying down or sitting in a on a um, cross leg um, Indian position. And, and 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 when they say that, it seems like it seems like it's kind of similar to DMT and and that astral projection. It's something that that is. Um, that should not be seen as something too dangerous, but something that she we could we could probably creep in, not to force herself, not to uh, not to um, be afraid of it, but to just because when we sleep, we're astral projecting is what we're doing. When we're sleeping, our consciousness is is in a is working with the living body, and they kind of they're kind of like. Because like, like like what I said about the heaven and hell thing is that like while your body is still functional, the spirit and the body when you're sleeping, um, the fibers of your living being is intertwined with the spiritual being in a quantum level. In the quantum level, in the space and time, in the quantum foam. The smallest, smallest, beyond. The quantum foam is beyond the quarks and all that. And when you're astral projecting or when you're sleeping, your body is basically, it's like a rubber band. You're like your, your body is stretching, your soul is stretching from the body. But, but that stretchiness in between the body and the spirit, there's still the, the metaphysical, the, the, the omnipresence, the spirit's its own fibers is intertwined and stretching with the physical living fibers. And when you astral project, those fibers stretch. And that's when you're able to, you know, see in the beauty of space and time, see in between the fabric of it, and to see, to move the curtain and to see the light of the reality that exists of this reality, which is another form of uh, perception, another form of living, because we're alive when we're alive, and we're alive when we're dead. Death is nothing. You know, I want to talk about that death should be redefined, should be redefined as not the end, 
which is in which is how the world sees it or on Webster's dictionary or whatever Google death should be redefined as um, a transition phase transitioning um, death should be redefined in a definition of um, transformation um, um, going down a different path you know you're, you're it's not an end it's more of a it's more of a developmental phase you know you're you're leaving one thing and you're continuing on. It's not something that's the end. And that I think that it's going to take a long time before death is seen that way. Before it's redefined that way, science, you know. Society, does. it takes a long time. It's going to take like at least like 50 years before they redefine death as that. But, or more than that. But astral projection is very similar to something that like, you know, like um, is when you take DMT, like I said in my other videos, about um how to uh you know um read objects and how to let objects teach you something astral projection um is very similar to like when you take drugs and everything it's like your your body is separating your your spirit is separating from the body but what but there's a still there's still a tether a tether that's still there like uh there's a um intertwined fabric that's woven between the spiritual strand and the living strand is still interwoven and the reason why they're interwoven is because the body is still alive and it's still functional and it's still relatively healthy if you do drugs or smoke you know you're, you're not dead you know you're not dead you're not dying but you, you, you're still functional that's that's due to will in the reason why um, people that do drugs for years and years and years and don't die is because they have internal will will to live you know they have internal will and they have the internal strength and they're more self-justified which is why people that do heroin and uh cocaine and crack smoking crack and all the other crazy stuff the reason why they live their body is damaged internally the heart is damaged the reason why they live is because they're self-justified they want to live and they have will to live that's why and the will comes from the spirit and um Astral projection. Um, I'm gonna practice it. I'm gonna look more into it, but I think it's not that difficult. Astral projection is not that difficult to do. Um, there's a simpler form of doing astral projection. I think that it is uh, just to just to rest, lay down, and uh, when you're in that um, when you're in that uh, transition phase of drifting off into sleep, that's when you're astral projecting. And that's right there, that transition phase of when you're drifting off into slumberland is when you you have to uh, become aware, but not too aware to where you wake up. You have to become aware right in that moment when you're transitioning from being awake to drifting off into sleep. Sleep. You're drifting. When you're drifting off, when you feel that you're knocking out you're going to sleep that is when you need to slowly get into the state of mind to where you know um, you have to be slightly aware aware in a different level not too aware but a different level it takes time it takes a couple of weeks or months to kind of um, become aware within the state of unconsciousness which is when you're sleeping, you're, you're in a slight state of unconsciousness because you're drifting off. And so you have to be in that state where you're, you're balanced properly to where you want to um, kind of uh, uh, perceive images and to, um, and to put your, your mind in a state where you want to see and you want to receive information. You're receiving, you want to receive when you're in that state of when you're drifting off and to sleep, you want to be in that, you want to exercise, you want to exercise the awareness that you're drifting off. You want to harness that transition of drifting off into sleep and you want to explore it and you want to push it and push the limits of it. And you want to let any images and any information come to you because any images and any information, no matter how ridiculous it is, it's all a form of knowledge and it's all something that that you need to know your dead relatives are sending you this in information 
the, the universe is sending you the information and something that you need to learn so that you can progress in this living realm so that you can be the best and be all that you can be and and so you won't waste your life away and and, and it's like you just have to let let the images take you and basically you just have to just lay there and let yourself be taken away and let anything that comes to you let it come to you let yourself acknowledge it like I said in my other video drifting off into sleep is very similar to dying when you're in that transition point to where you're drifting off into slumberland and you're starting to feel unconscious and you're falling asleep you're falling asleep that is very similar to the state where when a person dies that is how they feel when they're dying and they're transitioning from the living to the spiritual realm at that very moment because sleeping drifting off into sleep is very similar to drifting off and dying completely dying the body is shutting down they're both equally the same when you die so when you're in the drifting off mode remember that feeling Rem acknowledge that because that is how it's gonna be when you pass away acknowledge it and accept it so that you can be prepared for when you do pass away you'll know it takes time to practice weeks and days and months people who practice actual projection already know this they already know this sensation this kind of this kind of the drifting off and they're going off they know that already so you have to kind of practice that because that is when when it's time for you to go that is how it's gonna really be that is how it's gonna be and and so you gotta be prepared you know you gotta you know accept it and so astral projection that's just a little thing that I've kind of come up with and a kind of thing that I'm gonna start practicing astral projection is something that we should practice but that we should practice uh, take baby steps don't rush it you know don't rush it it's like taking DMT if you're not ready to see some crazy aliens or see some crazy things and it, and it affects you emotionally then you shouldn't take DMT and you shouldn't rush into astral projection that's the thing the message I want to talk about astral projection is rich as it is thank you guys for watching God bless